Now we'll go a little bit more into detail about what all you can do in the properties section for your lettering. And if I go ahead and select this Ryan number 23, and if I go up into my properties box, you'll notice all these different tabs. I can I can click on and for under each tab there's going to be different options available. If I go under this fill section, you have the the type of fill pattern that you're using, um, your standard. I can go in and I can actually turn that text into a fill pattern instead of a satin stitch. And also you can adjust the stitch length and the density. So like in the lettering right here, I know that I probably would like that to be more around the 4.0. So I can come in here for the density and I can click this down arrow and get it to 4. Or I can select it and manually punch in the value that I want and select apply. And now what that did is that actually went in and it changed the density of the stitches to make it a little bit tighter. Now if I go over into the run section, that has to do with a run stitch. And right now we're using a satin stitch, so it doesn't really apply to us. If I go to underlay, now I can select the type of underlay for that satin stitch lettering. I can, right now by default, it's set at parallel. I can come in here and select contour, which will put a little box um, around the parameter of the lettering, along with a parallel stitch. I can uncheck parallel if I want. Um, I can select a center line. You have full control over your underlay settings for your text, and you can determine which, you, which type of underlay you would like in there. And also you can change the values of the underlay stitches in this section as well. So you get total control over your underlay settings in, for your text using the Lettering Pro. And once you hit Apply, it'll go ahead and change it on your screen. Pull compensation is, uh, accounts for the pushing and the pulling that will go on as it sews onto the different fabric. Each fabric type is different. We do have a special feature that I'll show you when we go to save this design that will automatically adjust the pull compensation for you. But if you want to change it yourself, you can either change it by a percentage or by an absolute value. I like to work in absolute values because I like to go in there and if I'm not using our save to sew technology feature, I will go in there and select the value myself, like let's say a, a two points, this will put two millimeters of um, additional width um, for each column in the lettering. You'll notice that as I hit apply, it made the um, stitching wider, and that is to account for the pulling that's going to go on as it sews out. It'll actually end up sewing in the original size that I had it at right here once it's finished. It's because part of it's going to pull and sink into the fabric a little bit and it'll make the column actually sew out. Um, when you sew out an embroidery design it'll end up being skinnier than what you see when you set up for and that's why you use your pull compensation to adjust for that so that when it sews out it'll look how you originally intended it to. So then you have your generals tab where you can go in and you can change the, the connection ends from sharp to a zigzag and you can see over here it shows you a little image of it a chiseled effect and a square effect um, sharp is is the default and then we had our commands tab which I showed you under the start you can tell it that you want it to start that off with a um, normally with a jump stitch, with a trim, however you want it to to start before it actually starts sewing the lettering, and how you want it to end. You want it to end with a trim, so once it's all the way done, it's going to end with a trim, and that's a that's a good thing to do if, if the next object is in the same color as the text. I usually like to tie in lettering, anything with the satin stitch, I will tie it in with a basic and I will tie it off with the basic. And I already showed you how you can change the colors and the trims. Go ahead and hit apply. So those are some of the, the features that 
that are very helpful in working with the text where you can modify the underlays and the density of your design um, to get it to sew exactly how you would like it to.